Welcome learners in the series of videos on topology. We are looking at the countability properties and to be precise, we are looking at the first countable spaces. So in this video, we will prove, uh, prove that a subspace of a first countable space is first countable. Okay. So maybe a short video, let us prove that in this so theorem. A subspace, a subspace of first countable space, first countable space is first countable. So let us prove this. So what uh, we have is we will take a space x and we will take a y to be the subspace of x. So let's let's prove this. Okay. So let us take a subspace that x be first countable space, topological space. And let us take y be a subspace of x, subspace of x. We need to show that this y is first countable. And to recall, this y is called first countable if you take any point in y, there should exist a neighborhood basis for that y. That means if Okay, we, as we proceed, we will uh, take that. Okay, so let us let us draw the diagram. We have a whole space say, X. This is how we have a whole space, and inside whole space we have a say, subspace Y. So let us take this to be Y. Okay. Now we need to show that this Y is first countable. That means let us take a point Y in Y. So let that y belongs to y. We need to get the neighborhood basis for this y. And of course, we need to get it in subspace topology. Remember that one. So let us take a point y in y. So let us take y here. Okay, this is y. So this y is in y. That means this y is also in x because y is a subset of x. Right? This implies this y belongs to x, it has y is a subset of x and what we have, we know that this x is a first countable space, okay. So since, since x is first countable, this implies there exists, there exists say neighborhood basis neighborhood basis, uh, let us take that to be um, say B is equals to set of all B and N belongs to natural number. Okay, So it has a neighborhood basis for which way element for this Y and at Y in X. Okay. Now what we will do is we will generate the neighborhood basis for y in y by using this basis. How? Let me show you. So let, let us take v dash to be set of all the elements of the form y intersection bn such that this bn belongs to v. So you take a uh, element from this V, you take the element of this V and you take the intersection of that. Okay, and you put that in a set and let us denote that set by V dash. Okay, now let us show that this V dash is the neighborhood basis for Y in Y. So now, now since Vn is 
open in x implies implies y intersection bn if you write this as cn then this will be open is open in y because you are writing this set as y intersection some open set in x okay so we showed that these are open in y next now also also this small y is element of y and also we know that this is the neighborhood basis for y that means this y belongs to bn this implies this y will belongs to y intersection bn that is that means we showed that this is the collection of neighborhoods of y in y okay now let us show that this if you take any neighborhood of y we can get an element of p dash and if we can manage that we are done okay so let us take let us take let let us take this um where to write okay let me write here let 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 us write to bn dash okay bn dash is equals to y intersection bn these elements so this is no, nothing but bn dash okay this is also bn dash just a notation so we have showed this uh, this is true now what we need to show is if you take any neighborhood of y in y we can get one element of this b dash b dash okay so let us take a neighborhood of y in y so let let uh, let 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 us take v v neighborhood of y in y so we need to get the element of this form which will be contained in that y so since v is a neighborhood of y in y this implies neighborhood means it's an open set in y this implies there exist there exist a neighborhood say u of y in x such that we can write this p as y intersection u okay this is by definition of open set in a subspace okay so let's come back to our diagram we have a neighborhood of uh, we have this y and then we have a neighborhood of this so we have a v let's write this way this is what we have as v and then this v is nothing but y intersection some open set in x right so this part of y is there and apart from this we may have some part outside so this way this this entire thing is our u okay this entire thing is our u so we can be written as u intersection with y so that will be precisely this part inside part okay and this is y here okay so let's go ahead what does that mean this means okay so this means u is a neighborhood of y in x and what we know we know that this v is a neighborhood basis okay this v v is a neighborhood of basis neighborhood basis of y in y in x and we have a open set in x so this implies so this implies or oh, let me write since u is neighborhood of y in x and this v whatever we have taken is neighborhood basis for y in x implies there exists some element of that basis so n not in n says that this y will belongs to b not 
and this bn not will be contained inside u okay this is because u is first countable and since it's a first countable we have got the basis neighborhood basis of uh, y in x okay so this implies remember our aim our aim is to show that there is some bn uh, the element of this v dash which will contain inside our set v okay and we are going to this implies let us take bn dash so bn not dash bn not dash is nothing but y intersection b n not okay this how we have defined bn not uh, dash and this is contained inside y intersection u because bn not is contained inside u so you take intersection with y intersection with y the the, the relation will be same so this is contained inside y intersection u and from this y intersection u is nothing but v okay so this is equal to v so what we have done is for element v uh, sorry for element y in our open set v there is v is the neighborhood of y we got an element of our collection b n not dash which is contained inside v okay and this implies this implies v dash is neighborhood basis for y in y and hence hence y is first countable remember first countable as in in case of uh, it's a subspace topology in the subspace topology it's a first countable space okay so let us recall again what we have done we have proved this in theorem that a subspace of a first countable space is first countable okay in the next theorem uh, next uh, video we will prove another theorem wherein we will show that the product of two first countable spaces is first countable okay so stay tuned and see you in the next video